When it comes to flying, planes and ice don't mix. Freezing rain occurs most often in fall and spring. It can occur at any altitude, and it's the most dangerous type of precipitation to aviation safety. Even planes equipped with anti-icing equipment are not meant to handle continuous icing. Any buildup of ice on an aircraft destroys the smooth aerodynamic airflow affecting its performance. Add to this the weight of the ice and you soon have an aircraft that can't maintain airspeed even with maximum power. Avoiding ice starts on the ground. Before you go, check the weather for possible icing on takeoff, landing and en route. Request any recent pilot weather reports or PIREPs from the nearest flight service station and if possible, plan your route around known icing. Aviation regulations require that all snow, ice or frost must be removed before flying. Don't assume that loose snow will blow off in flight. Besides, there might be some ice hiding underneath. If you're caught in potential icing conditions, anticipate it and get out as soon as possible. Ice can build up rapidly. Don't fly at altitudes where icing is forecast and, if encountered, do something about it at the first sign. Don't wait. Start to work your way out immediately, either by changing altitude, turning back towards good weather, or getting down as quickly as possible, or a combination of all three. Ice accumulation degrades stability and increases stall speed, so fly your approach with extra power and airspeed. And file a pie rep as soon as possible, either in the air or on the ground. Actual weather reports from pilots provide the most reliable information for forecasters and other pilots. Pilots know that no ice is good advice. Avoid ice conditions at all times. Remember, it's better to be on the ground wishing you're in the air than being in the air wishing you weren't.